What's going on guys? Apathetic here and today we are going to be covering how to master warlock movement. So I've had a lot of you guys asking in my comments about how I move so fast, how do I warlock skate? So I figured I'd just do a video about it covering my loadout that helps uh, give me the optimal skating I guess and then uh, kind of how to warlock skate and then some tips re revolving around that. So let's jump right into it. Getting into my loadout the first thing you want to do is use burst glide. So burst glide is going to give you that strong initial boost of speed that you need to actually skate. These other uh, loading things, jumps, whatever, they don't don't give you the burst you need. So we're going to need to use burst glide, a thousand percent. Other thing that really helps with that is having a, kind of a breakdown of your stats that favors mobility. I tend I try to break up mobility and recovery. On paper, this doesn't look that high, but I am wearing transversive steps, which is gonna increase my sprint speed, which can help with my warlock skating, and traction, which again also increases my mobility and gives me a tighter turn radius. So, jumping into how to skate. So you're gonna you'll notice when you are just like normal jumping, you'll jump normal, jump normal, and then you do your burst, right? Burst. But what you want to do is do a jump and then double jump. So jump, double jump. You're just tapping that button, double tapping, a tap, double tap, a tap, double tap. And what this does is it cancels your jump, so you still get that burst, but then you don't stay floating up like this. Because if you just press it twice, you're just gonna float and you're easy pickings, right? What we want is the jump, cancel that show. If the burst is pushing you forward and down into the ground. So I tend to do this when I get toward, I tend to do the jump cancel or the double jump when I get to the top of my jump. So I'm, I wait till I jump, I'm up at the peak and then I go down. But kind of like as I'm falling, I'll do it. This allows me to get down very fast. Get around the map very quickly as you can kind of see here. And again, the higher mobility, faster feet will uh, feel. Uh, the other thing that ties in with this, and it's just like a general movement tip, you never want to just be or as much as possible, don't want to be just like sprinting like this. You either want to be skating or you want to be like sliding over and over again. By sliding over and over again or skating constantly, you're making yourself super hard to hit. So we want to make sure that we're just keep being elusive as possible and not putting ourselves where we can easily get sniped or, uh, you know, have some easy shots landed on. Cool. So that's uh, Warlock skating. But let's talk about Warlock skating out of super. This is something that uh, I've been asked about as well. And if you can normal warlock skate like outer super, it's the same concept in super, but it's more the directional control that's harder. So if you see, I can easily with Dawn Blade, kind of like you can just fly across the map like it's crazy. You're so fast, except that with this one, because you're so fast, you can pause a little bit and then kind of like just tap that burst. And then you want to like leave it like not double tap it so you can float a little bit when you're trying to get some extra like uh, angle or higher angle against, against people but the other thing people don't uh sometimes have trouble with is when they're they're so used to skating as they can't control it they just fly into a wall like i kind of did over there so i'm gonna show you how you can direct control it a little bit easier so you're gonna pop it and then as you jump, you're gonna pause. Before you do your double tap, you wanna like pause and look in the direction you wanna go. So I jump, I'll go that way. Jump. See, I kind of clicked it too soon there. So I jump, boom. Jump, direction I wanna go, double tap. Jump, double tap. Jump, direction I wanna go, double tap. Jump, double tap. Jump, double tap. So you wanna just kind of jump. And before you do your double jump, you wanna look in the direction you wanna go whilst in Dom Blade. You can kind of do the same thing. It's kind of the same concept, but Dawn Blade just feels a little bit different because you're in that third person mode and you have that increased mobility. So the burst feels a lot stronger. So in Dawn Blade again, remember, pop it, jump, jump, look where you want to go, double jump, jump, look where you want to go, double jump, jump, look where you want to go, double jump. And you can see how fast I can get around. It looks a lot more controlled. Almost fall off the map. Don't worry, guys, I got this. That's what you want to do is keep it nice controlled nice and controlled all right next thing i would like to talk about and this kind of is just another free tip i don't know if it ties in the movement that much but it's using your rift to get additional information 
a lot of times we're fighting we're fighting and we're hiding behind a wall and we pop our rift but then what people do is they pop the rift and they don't use it to their advantage in terms of gaining more information on where their enemy that's attacking them are a lot of times when people pop the rift and myself included we pop our rift and it's when the enemy is pushing us or being very aggressive and we're hurt and we're trying to get our health back as quickly as possible well on top of that we also need to know where our enemy is going to be pushing from they could be running up and sliding they could be jumping up above us we need to figure out like where are they coming from so here's where i use my rift and what i'll show you is i'm gonna pop my rift and then i'm gonna rotate the camera as i pop it to see around the corner and see just basically get gain that additional information so i pop it and i look around so if you guys saw that as i'm looking around i'm able to kind of gather where's my enemy pushing from and hopefully by then i have enough health back so they're coming above boom or i can i can shoot them up here or i can shoot them right there wherever they're wherever they're coming from or i can use it to get away since maybe i know they're not jumping up they're wrapping around i can run around on the opposite side and the last thing guys i want to talk about is shotgunning on warlock and how this ties into warlock skating so the number one thing you want to make sure before we talk about this is you have icarus grip for the weapon mod on here this improves accuracy while airborne and the reason this i feel is so important to have especially on warlock or titan a lot of times you're skating and boom you just you have to have that split second reaction a lot of times you're mid-air so having that Icarus mod on there is going to allow you to make those make sure those shots register and you get a lot more one shot kills when I don't have Icarus on a shotgun that's where you have a lot of those scenarios where you like kind of bounce into someone you shotgun them like and it feels like it's center mass and it doesn't kill them it gets close maybe but it doesn't kill them so having Icarus is super important and what that allows us to do is of course we want to be sliding as much as possible especially if a shotgun with slide shot but well, I'll just do if we're in a point where we're really pressing someone and say there's a guy right here, he's getting his health back and we're trying to we're trying to close the gap on him. We don't need to slide. We can kind of skate past him and boom, kill him and keep going and keep that momentum. And when you do that, when you're getting that momentum, you're so hard to track as you fly through the air. And what you want to make sure you're doing is, is you're jumping. You want to time it. So I'm canceling it as I'm flying around this corner. You don't want to be like floating like this. You want to be pushing towards the person canceling it so as i'm canceling it i'm kind of it's that burst is carrying my momentum forward i'm kind of just falling down shooting and this a lot of times will make you harder to hit as you're getting in those shotgun battles so that's just something that that's another just small tip i would encourage you guys to use if you're using warlock or titan it kind of works with hunter but they tend to go just so vertical that you know they don't really have to worry about making sure they time their float correctly <laughs> um so i hope you guys found this video helpful uh let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed this format where i kind of just break down movement or a specific topic in an open map not necessarily in the heat of a a game uh, but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one